Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws and Tips, Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to answer two questions at one time. Somebody asked me a question today. They watched a video of mine on how to set the nudge distance with the shift key and the control key, and I'm going to go over that. In 2019, they have 2019 or above. In 2018, it's different. But the first thing, somebody asked me how to, how do I move the nodes around the keyboard with the keyboard? Well, these are your arrow keys. Your keyboard might be a little bit different, but these are the keys and not really particularly these arrow keys. It'd be these. Now, I guess if you unlock your number or whatever, the arrow keys might work, but I always use these keys. So we're gonna go over that first and I've got some nodes and I'm gonna hit the arrow key one time. I've got my nudge distance set on two inches. So it moved that node up two inches. Now, if I hold down the, the shift key and move it up, let me select it again, and see it moved it double by holding down the shift. Let me bring those in, the picture. Make it a little bit better. So the shift key doubles your nudge factor or your nudge distance. So let's move this one with the control button and move an arrow up. And it only moved it a half the distance. And if we even go a little further, let's do this. Whoop. Let's bring in a, get our pick tool, bring in a line and put it. Okay, I don't have snap to on, we'll go through that. And we'll go through snap to guidelines, object. And I'll bring in this, and if I go right to that node, it'll snap to it. Now, just to try to prove a point, if we go from that edge to that edge, it's two inches. If we go from this edge to this edge, it's four inches. If we go from this edge to this edge, it's one inch. So, as you can see, two inch, four inches, one inch. So that's your control and your shift key. And that's just using the arrow keys. Now you can always move nodes manually with the shift key. Let me get my indexing line out of the way. Tell you what, let's make all these, uh, let's just back up and make it straight again. You can always just grab a, a node by clicking on the node and moving it up or down. Now, if you hold down the control button while doing that, it'll it'll stop it at like an increment so you can't really get off. So you can move it a little bit and you can even move your mouse back and forth. I'm moving my hand a little bit, but holding down the control button. Now, here's the second part of this question, the difference between how do you set that nudge distance with the shift key and the control key? Well, inside of 2019, they've, they've moved it. 2019 and above, you go to Layout, Document op Options, and go to Rulers, and here's your nudge distance. The super nudge is twice as much. The micro nudge is half as much. So it's showing me my nudge is set for two. So this is two divided by two is one. This is two times two is four. So we set our nudge distance at one, and then we go to layout, document options, and now you can see it's one inch. So that's how you change it in 2019 and above. 2018 is back where it's always been, under tools, options, and under workspace, under, on this workspace, you go to documents, and here's your rulers here. So here's your nudge distance right here. My nudge is set at 0 0.01, set it on one. So my, whoop, let's go back to tools, options, to rulers, and it's one. So it's the super nudge is one times, or two times one. The micro nudge is one inch divided by two. And you can change this. You can make your nudge distance, and we'll do that inside of 2019. Let's go to Layout, doc, Document Options, Nudge, and let's make this the Super Nudge four times as many times, and hit OK. 
Now when we take our line and we use the shape tool, if we hold down the shift key, it moved it, well, it moved it equally. Let's go back here. Let's put that one back. Let's just delete that note. So let's don't hold anything down and it moved it that far. Let's hold down the shift key and move it up. And you can see it moved it twice as, four times as far this time. Anyway, so I hope that answered those questions and thank you for watching.